Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Epson Workforce 2750. We're gonna be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing this printer. So stick around until the end because I'm gonna have a lot of content on the functionality and the usability of this printer, as well as some links in the description below, one of them being for this printer for you to go ahead and purchase. If you like this video and subscribe to my channel, that would be really greatly appreciated. I'm coming out with more content just like this, reviewing different types of printers. And also make sure to visit my website bestprinterstech.com where I provide a variety of different printers, printer ink, uh, as well as a printer repair solution that is a DIY solution. So all of that information in the description below, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so just really quick, you should have some startup uh, 220 printer ink and a uh, power cable should be a two pin uh, that's connected directly to the printer as well as a uh, manual and a setup disc for your computer. So all of this should be in the box. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power it on. Now, nothing special here with the screen. It's not a touch screen or anything. It's just a regular uh, monochrome, um, you know, black and white type of uh, uh, screen here. You're going to go through all of your settings here, and I'm just clicking whatever is fine for me. But let's take a look at the body really quick. Now, it's very similar to previous models, and I kind of see a slight difference with the top corner here. And so really the shape of the printer really has not changed much. And really to illustrate this, I'm going to show you another uh, older model. All right, so just quickly for, as a reference, um, just so that you see this, this is the 2630. So this is a few models under, and you can see the difference here. Uh, this other one is a lot more modern looking. Very, a lot of similarities though here uh, with the two different printers. Uh, the top paper tray, you can see there has a little bit more of a different design than this one. The uh, paper tray, of course, there's the bottom paper tray on this version. And so overall, it looks like the only difference really is that this printer, the newer, the 2750, does not have the back paper tray. And this uh, 2630 does have it. Out of the back paper tray, the 2750 has the bottom paper tray. So just so you can see some similarities and differences uh, with an older model. Just wanted to throw that in there for you guys. All right, so we're gonna continue to set it up. Okay, so now at this point, we are going to set up the ink cartridges. All right, so to install the ink, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is you're gonna go ahead and lift the top of the printer and your print head should come right to the middle. Okay, and next you're gonna go ahead, of course, and one by one, you're gonna remove whatever plastic there is, as well as this uh, yellow uh, flap that is on here as well. It's going to be on most uh, remanufactured and original Epson ink, so make sure to take that off. Okay, you're going to push that right in there, just like that. Make sure it... Okay, make sure it's in place, and the rest of them. Go ahead and place it right in there. Now that's one of the things on this printer is that the ink is going to be very inexpensive but along with this the original ink is not going to be too expensive but i'm also if you go to the description below going to include some uh, remanufactured ink which is going to be even cheaper so that your cost is even lower for your ink so be sure to go in the description below and check out um, that link that is for the epson uh, 220 ink it's remanufactured all right, so you install them all just like that and make sure they are all, of course, properly in there. Uh, you can, you know, slide your fingers across and make sure that they're all pushed to down in there properly. And you're going to go ahead and close the top of the printer. All right, so once you install your ink, you're going to go ahead and continue with the setup. Check out the ink cartridges, make sure that everything is in place properly. Okay, and it's gonna go ahead and set up at this point. All right, so once it is done setting up, um, after you have installed the ink, you're gonna wanna get a plain piece of paper and you're going to use the bottom paper tray, which slides out very nicely. I really like that. I'm gonna have to adjust the 
paper size here. Just like that. But everything flows very easily with this uh, paper tray. There's nothing to wrestle with here. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and hit OK. So that is basically the setup. This is uh, one of the simpler setups that I have done. You have a lot of options here. You can check your ink levels, of course. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the ability it has when it comes to printing. You're gonna wanna pull this flap out, just like that, and it comes all the way out, just like that. So that is the speed when it comes to your printing ability. Now, of course, you can do, uh, its ability is uh, 13 pages per minute for black and about seven and a half to eight pages per minute for color. Uh, so that is the speed. Nothing crazy, uh, but that's about the average for most printers and that's, that's not bad at all. Now in this bottom paper tray, you can fit about 250 pages and that's a lot more than something like the uh, previous model that I showed you earlier in the video where you can, you can only fit so much on that top paper tray and it's a lot less convenient uh, if you notice you know a lot of dust a lot of things can touch that top paper tray um, the paper that is in there and that's really something that is undesirable to me for a printer so the fact that this printer actually doesn't have that at all it doesn't bother me it actually is a, a much better feature and a much better investment in my opinion for epson to put the paper tray on the bottom only for these printers from now on and of course you've got your top paper tray but so you can fit a lot more paper it's a lot more convenient it's a lot less dirty if it does get dusty in your office area it doesn't go directly to the paper it's tucked underneath the printer safely and clean so that in my opinion uh, will raise the rating on this printer and of course we always rate the, these printers on bestprinterstech.com as well as on here during the video towards the end of it i will give this printer a rating all right so that's that now another thing i notice here is if you notice with this uh the paper holder it slides up it's flat and then slides up just like that and that is a newer feature that i have not seen on uh on previous models of this epson so there's a lot of tiny tiny tweaks here and of course it, it being a simple printer, I mean, I'm not expecting this one necessarily, but even this printer, I feel like could have had a touch screen. So we've unboxed this printer. You've seen what is inside the box. Uh, you've seen me install the ink. We have set it up now. You've gotten to the point where you can uh, kind of just use it. Of course, you can set up your fax and everything else and connect it to, com connect it to the computer. Now, if you don't have an A to B cable, which is a cable that you absolutely need to connect this printer to the computer, and for some reason, all of these companies, Epson, HP, Canon, they do not include an A to B cable. So for an A to B cable, you can find that on my website at bestprinterstech.com. Of course, that's in the description below. I uh, just want that to be a resource for you because uh, I do sell a very inexpensive uh, A to B cable, but that is what you're gonna need to connect to your computer. And now past all of this setting up, and uh, of course you have the manual here that is going to help you through a lot of what you need to do for the printer when it comes to uh, setting up. Past that, kind of reviewing this printer, and I've kind of been reviewing it throughout this video, it has excellent functionality. And another thing, the first thing I would mention is the affordability of this printer. This is the printer that is sold out at Walmart and Target. And this is the printer that is on sale on Amazon.com uh, that is, it has an extreme sale. And along with that, the printer ink is very inexpensive as well, which is very, very rare. Usually the printer is cheap and the ink is a lot more expensive. But in this case, Epson is getting smarter and they are making their product cheaper as far as the ink and so that is that is very very much important uh, because you, with the ink you can end up spending a ton of money really it's just a small quantity of ink now of course i always promote and always recommend that you get remanufactured ink which is what i sell on my website which is what i am uh, linking you to and that is the ink that you can use throughout the duration and the life of this printer and so that you have a much much lower cost per print a much much lower cost for your ink so that is the main thing that the biggest winner 
and why I wouldn't give it any less than uh, three and a half stars is because of the affordability. Now the usability, it's very easy to use and it's very simple. There's nothing to wrestle with here with some printers there is. And I just really like all these tiny little things which aren't major, but, but to me, they are a big deal. Not having the back paper tray. To me, I like that. It's the double-sided printing. You've got a duplexer on the back of the printer. And so that allows you to do double-sided printing. And that is very important. That's something that uh, a lot of these models didn't used to have. So having that duplexer on the back, having all of the functionality and ability of the previous models, but then adding all these little extra things really is going to boost it up to a, um, to a four for right now. And as we go through it, I will add or take away for different reasons on the rating. You have a really clear picture of what you are getting with the Epson Workforce 2750. There's just a few other things. The fact that it does not have a touch screen is going to be minus 0.5. Half of a point is going to be taken off there, dropping it back to a 3.5 star. And so that is something that, in my opinion, even if it was something as simple as it can, it doesn't have to be the best quality screen, but even if this, if I could just touch this, click that, and it would go and I didn't have to use these buttons. I mean, we are in 2019, guys. I understand you have to keep the cost low on these printers and that technology is gonna add a little bit more to the cost. But nowadays, I don't think people would really mind that, especially because this has the functionality for wireless printing. So you have your Wi-Fi set up and of course you can uh, do wireless printing, which is something that the older models for these types of Epsons, you were not able to do that. So along with this newer technology, the wireless printing, you should have a touch screen. So that for me is a really, really big thing that I cannot do without. Now, what I really, really like in every printer, and for me, it's very difficult to see a printer that does not have a top paper tray like this for your uh, everyday uh, copying and everything else you wanna do with your top paper tray, your faxing. To me, that is a vital thing. So that is gonna add another half of a point. So we're back at four stars. I will give this printer, because of the functionality, the, the affordability, the affordability aspect has, you know, it's twofold with the printer and the ink. That is a very, very big deal with these printers, with printing in general. So that alone is gonna allow me to give it a 4.3 stars. It's a solid 4.3 stars. It really needs a touch screen. It doesn't have all the functionality in the world, but it does have a lot. Um, you have your scanning bed there. You have all the primary things you need in a printer and you have it at a really low price. And I really like that. And all the little nicks and things that they have added here that I've mentioned uh, before, the quality is still there as it is with most of these Epson workforces. I would recommend this for residential and commercial. As long as your commercial isn't thousands of pages, you should be fine. If you're on a lower scale, you should be okay. So hopefully you've stayed through the entire video until the end and you have gotten the clear picture of kind of what this printer, uh, how it feels like, how it looks, what it does really. And I hope I have been able to depict really uh, the functionality and of course the affordability and everything else that goes into this printer and all of the information kind of just combined in one video and one package so there are a lot of resources in the description below that I have been mentioning throughout the video one of them I really didn't mention is Amazon Prime now if you were wanting to get this printer through my link and you were wanting to get it quickly because I am directing you to amazon.com I highly highly recommend if you're wanting to get your products faster you want to get the remanufactured ink this is what i recommend you do save a lot on this printer and you're going to save a lot on the ink if you're on a desktop i would just left click the links that i'm linking you to if you're on mobile you can kind of do something similar you can just add these to your cart add the products to your cart what i would recommend that you do you open up different links or you add things to your cart mobile and you add the printer you add your remanufactured ink, it's all gonna be on amazon.com. And the next thing you can do, another one of the links is Amazon Prime. Now Amazon Prime is gonna allow you to get your products very quickly for very, very inexpensively and, and for free at times. There's a 30 day free trial and you can cancel at any time. You can keep it for 30 days, cancel, or you can keep it if you really like the service. 
but I'm gonna throw that in there just so that you can get your products quickly. If you need to return them, it's a quick return process as well. Purchasing these products or any products that I recommend in the future is gonna be a breeze really. And with the 30 day free trial, you can at least get these products very quickly to your house, be able to see if they are a fit for your home office. Hopefully that is a resource that ends up helping you. Now, if for whatever reason you weren't really attracted to this printer and you kind of wanted to get something with more functionality, something, you know, with different aspects, the Canon TS8120 is the previous printer that I just reviewed. That is a photo printer, you know, strictly. I mean, you can do a lot of other things with it, but it is really, really, the core of it is a photo printer. You've got the Epson Workforce 7720, which is a very, very, uh, very, very big, um, I would say a commercial sized printer uh, for you to do massive amounts of printing. And so I have that variety, that type of variety of printers and reviews on my channel and on my website, bestprinterstech.com, as well as a lot of resources for remanufactured ink on my website. I hope you will take advantage of. All right, so that's really all I have for today. Um, I'm an up and coming YouTube channel, so I would greatly appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I just passed 2000 subscribers. I know it's not like a massive amount of subscribers. It means a lot and I really appreciate the people that um, are part of the community. As well as I hope that this information ends up being helpful and helping you make a better buying decision. And that's really what my goal is, is to be a resource for your printing needs. Stay tuned for the next video. Hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get the, the next uh, video that I come out with. But thanks for watching and until next time.